We also have new information tonight about a terrible story unfolding in Brooklyn. As many as 100 bodies found outside of a funeral home in trucks. Unrefrigerated trucks. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Nolan begins our coverage tonight. He's live in the Flatlands section with the new and disturbing details. Jim? Today, those two U-Haul trailers had been parked in front of the Andrew T. Cockley funeral home for weeks. Neighbors complained about the odor coming from them. Finally today, the city and the state came in to check. Each of those two trucks contained 50 bodies waiting there, piled in there for some time. The city and state health workers who showed up at the Andrew T. Cleckley Funeral Home on Utica Avenue today came upon a disturbing scene. The two U-Haul trucks parked in front of the home held as many as 50 bodies each. Most not in caskets, but body bags and in various states of decomposing. Neighbors for days have been taking video of the bodies dragged into the unrefrigerated trucks and stacked on top of one another. They have uh, bodies in, uh, uh, in the vans, in body bags on top of each other. And, uh, you know. When you say on top of each other, on shelves or just right on top of each other? Uh, some on shelves and some on just on top of each other. Responding to complaints of the odor coming from the funeral parlor, the city and state stepped in today. Workers dressed head to toe in protective gear. They transferred the bodies to two refrigerated trucks provided by the city. It had all been going on a while. I see bodies that are being carried out of here all month in body bags. And uh, right out under the street, right under the street all month long. I seen them carried. I can't believe how many bodies came out of there. It's amazing. This funeral home is overcapacitated with human remains, and that is true. Dr. David Penipent is a funeral director who teaches at SUNY Canton. He was brought in by the state to help here. He got overwhelmed with the number of, of remains that he had, and he didn't know what to do. And I'm here to assist him in, the, in this operation. Eyewitness News has shown other funeral homes, this one in Queens, that also had many bodies to handle because of the COVID-19 crisis. But they were handling them in accordance with the rules and with a proper respect for the dead and their families. What the state found when it got to the Cleckley funeral home today and what neighbors have been seeing for weeks was much different. I've seen a lot of disrespect to dead bodies. If they would do that to my father or my mother or my sister or my child, uh, you know, I, I would go crazy. The number of people dying from the virus is, of course, lower now, but many funeral homes across the city are still behind and still trying to catch up from the peak. Clearly, this is one still struggling with the number of bodies coming in.